what's up people it's your belief and today we're going to be going over some specialists and also talking about the in-game or in-field attachments so for the first specialist we have mckay and he he has like a grappling hook which is really nice because it helps you reposition when like wherever you are and also gives you high ground when you really need it um i noticed that his nimble passive moving faster while aiming and on zip lines uh, so far on this map at least it hasn't been that helpful because I don't see myself shooting on a zip line But I guess that's pretty nice. And then let's go ahead and look at Boris here. This guy I really like this guy. So he has a sentry turret and if he stays near his sentry turret in a really small circle He actually improves the sentry turret, but this is essentially useless The reason why I feel like Boris is so good is because you could cover multiple I guess positions on a point so you could put your sentry turret let's say on d2 here you could put it in this little corner of this building and also watch the right side of that building as well or the top side of that building which is really nice because um if your sentry turret locks on to an enemy it actually shows them all highlighted in red so boris is really nice i really enjoy playing him and then casper this guy he has a drone and the drone is pretty useless i'm not gonna lie I don't really like the drone um, because one, you have to be in the drone and you're just sitting in a corner or something. Um, and I've noticed it's a little bit buggy. So you guys could again give him a try. I might play him a little bit more, but so far I'm enjoying Boris a lot. And then here is, how do you even say that? Phallic? No shot, right? No way that's what that is. But she has a healing syringe. So it's kind of like whoever it is from Overwatch where we could shoot somebody and heal them from afar. Uh, but they remove the reviving from range which is pretty nice um, and her passive is that she revives enemy with full health or allies with full health so that is the overview of the four uh, operators my favorite has to be boris like i said just for the extra cover um, with your turret and then if we go over and look at the loadouts so i was a little confused about the loadouts because like why does it really matter but this is essentially just your, your your like slots so you could choose any one of these and change anything inside of this so you, you don't have to really worry about choosing a specific medic package if you're playing you want to play medic or something um and then these are all the assault rifles and or all the guns in the game um, on this map i have to say the smgs are not that great just because uh the damage range is really bad and this map is like freaking huge like the most close range combat you're gonna have is within d2 here and maybe on top of b1 but i definitely don't recommend using the smgs for this map at least but you guys are gonna give it a try um and the assault rifles are really good um the ak is really nice i like the ak uh but my favorite has to be this lmg this lmg freaking rips and it's perfect for this map just because everything's a more medium range and you have a larger magazine. So you can actually just continue beaming people and there's not much recoil on this LMG. And then the Marksman here, this gun is pretty trash. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Marksman, whatever the Marksman can do, the Assault Rifles could do better. So there's no real point of doing like using their Marksman. And then the Sniper Rifle as well, it's nice to use from far, but I feel like, like I get that Sniper Rifles are supposed to be long range, and there should be bullet like bullet drop and slow bullet velocity but i just feel like the bullet drop for the sniper rifles are just a little bit too much um and the bullet velocity is a little bit slow so when when i start sniping i end up just kind of fighting like medium to long range which i might as well use my lmg because like i said this thing's like the best gun in the game for sure uh, and then when it comes to the shotgun, the shotgun's nice to kind of mess around with, but it has the same issue as the SMG. The only problem is it's a lot less consistent than the SMG. Uh, and I noticed that there's some, I guess, like server lag with the shotgun as well. Uh, so sometimes I'm shooting and then after I shoot them and then like a few seconds later, they'll like die. So it's a little confusing. And then um, if we go over the secondaries, I've been getting ripped by this Glock. I don't know how people do it. Maybe my aim is just bad, but occasionally I get destroyed by it. But I actually really like this M44 revolver. It's not that fast, but it's a one shot headshot. So it's very satisfying when you hit those one shot headshots. And heading over to the throwables, we have the proximity sensor and I guess the impact grenade. 
uh, or just the regular grenade. But I like running the proxy sen proximity sensor just because it gives me more information on where enemies are when I'm pushing a uh, objective. And then for the gadgets here, you can either run med kits, you can run ammo crates, C4, rocket launchers. Um, I haven't actually tried these last ones here, but you also get armor. So there is an armor system in this game, but um, I've been just running the ammo crate because I'm just trying to play very aggressive, especially because I like playing with LMG so much. Um, having that extra ammo so I could just keep spraying and continue like going wherever I need to go, it's really nice because the enemies after you kill them do drop ammo, but it's I think like 50, it's like 50 bullets or something. So I'd rather just continue holding this. Not having the medkits kind of suck, but you just got to kind of wait it out. You do regain most of your health, but the only thing you don't regain is the armor. So right now I'm really enjoying running the ammo crate just because I continue spraying people. But let's go ahead and go in game and I will choose the LMG. And I'll show you guys the, what is it called? The field customization. So if you press T on keyboard, you open up this menu here. And for the AK-47, for some reason, when you attach your attachments here, they actually go away when you die, so you have to continue reattaching. Um, but up here, this top portion is all your sides. And on your top left of the corner, you see that it actually explains what it does. Um, I've noticed that there's no cons to any of these attachments, which doesn't make sense because why would you want to run factory? Uh, but I personally like it's it's nice to be able to switch from your sites. So if like I'm fighting someone from like here to there, right? But there's someone further over there. I could switch to my sites and get a clear shot, which is pretty nice. I really do enjoy this because then you could kind of use one gun for everything. So on the left side here, we have the barrels. Um, and always for the first box, it's always the factory, I guess, attachment. And these things have no positives. So I'm not sure why you would want to run the factory. You would always want to continue putting on your attachments. But for the LMG here, we have vertical recoil. So on the top left, as I, like I said, you guys can see that there's positives and stuff. Um, so this one here helps with recoil control but the far left here is actually the suppressor and i notice if i put on the suppressor it doesn't really make a difference because for the lmg i have such a big magazine size i don't exactly have to worry about not having enough firepower to take down the enemy so i usually just run the silencer and it doesn't affect your bullet velocity at all as i've been kind of playing and realizing um and then on the bottom here we have the grips for the ars you actually have a I think like a grenade launcher or something, as well as this uh, foregrip. But always attach that because, it, as you guys can see, the Cobra grip improves accuracy, but only if you're static. So if you're not moving, it improves your accuracy. And then on the left, on the right here, the right part of the tree, there's armor piercing rounds and they're just regular rounds. Um, for other guns, like for the ARs, um, at least for the M4 AR, I noticed that there's like SMG rounds for close quarter combat. And then there's also armor piercing rounds. So it's a little bit different, but not that different as well. I mean, just a little bit more options. Uh, for the shotgun, there are slug rounds and just the regular rounds, just regular shotgun rounds. But like I said, the only con you really see is, I guess, like the handling and stuff. But the thing is, I feel like the handling is not that different. So. Right now we're running the regular max, right? And I'm running this, like this is how fast I'm running. From here to there, right? Auto attack sprint or a double attack sprint. But if I put this bad boy on, my moving speed is still the same. So I'm not too sure what they mean by handling. And it's, it's not as if my recoil is any different. I feel like my recoil is still the same. So, I'm not too sure. Um, and I noticed the recoil in this game is not that bad either. But that's just a little overview of everything. I'm still trying to figure things out a little bit more. But but I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. And if you guys do, do me a favor, smash that like button. Comment down below if you guys are gonna get Battlefield 2042. And then go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you guys wanna see more of my content. I will be uploading more Battlefield 2042 videos. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck in whatever you're doing. Peace.